Hey everybody, it's Istvan82 here, and uh, many of you may be wondering why you're staring at my gigantic fat rolls. And I'll show you, this is a uh, Flail Throughs update, and today we're actually going to be having an unboxing. Yes. You'll probably be seeing the first video tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, but this is of a game I found online, and I thought, you know what? This sounds just right up Flail Throughs Alley. So, I bring you... Daisuke Teddy. Yes, apparently this game is a role-playing game uh, where you have powers based on what out what outfit your teddy bear wears. Not like the actual teddy bear. This has no relation to the game. The game came out uh, to celebrate the hundredth anniversary of the teddy bear. That's all I know about this. There's almost no information online about this, at least in English. Um, it was never released in English, it was never patched, there's not even much, you know, coherent information. I, I just know the name is Dice K Teddy. So, this is actually brand new, this game is, how many years old is this? Let me see, um, we'll, we'll find the name, or we'll find a number somewhere inside, I'm sure, but this game is actually, like, oh, okay, this game is 10 years old. This game is 10 years old. It's not very popular, um, it's for the Game Boy Advance, you'll be seeing some of it soon. And, uh, I figured we'd give it a shot. It, it comes with a tiny little teddy bear there. With a tiny little teddy, so let's open this. Try not to damage the teddy bear. So let, let's take a look at the teddy bear first. Um, I give him credit, he's actually jointed. He has, uh, yeah, little shoulder joints so you can... Pose him, sort of, I guess. Uh, I'm going to be a little careful here. He feels a little fragile, but... Oh, it's set on his feet. It says... Nerfta, Japan, I think. Um, there's no autofocus on this camera. Either way, it looks like it says Nerfta, Japan. So, you know, he has a tiny, tiny little teddy who wants to show you all his junk. I'm going to assume it's a guy. Might be a girl, uh, in which case she should, you know, not do that. It's bad for reputation. Let's put them, uh, let's put them over here. Or something. They'll, they'll watch from over here and stare at me with their tiny, tiny, beady, judging eyes. The packaging is actually kind of interesting. It appears to just be layers upon layers of cardboard. I don't even know if this is glued together. Uh, I do kind of want to keep this if it is glued together, because it's interesting. I've actually been sitting on this thing for like six months, waiting for a chance to review it. I, you know, first of all, yeah, this is all semi-glued together. It won't fall apart. So I probably will keep the cardboard insert. Or the cardboard bit. Um, other than a couple stickers, it has no real use. So, Dice Gate Teddy. This is a Japanese Game Boy Advanced game box. Um, we have some pictures of the game on the back, which you can't really make out. Let me see if I can adjust the camera here a bit. Yeah. Uh, pictures of it. Uh, those are actually the teddy bear outfits on that side. Um, that's all I know for sure. I think. I don't even know that for sure. These are legends. Alright, so. Of course, there's the game, which has a picture of... The a teddy bear on it, which looks way better quality than the one they gave us. Cardboard insert. Oh, product reply card. Maybe I should fill this out and send it in. Um, I'd need a 50 yen stamp, though, to send it in, so that's probably a bit out of the question. And we have instructions. This is pretty much all that it is. It's very simple packaging. Um, alright. Uh, I see... A little town that is in fact a town that is in fact glossy paper so you can't see shit okay uh, this game has a lot of little girls with teddy bears because it's a game for little girls I, I'm you know I, I hate to generalize there but it probably is that are creepy old Japanese men look there's a map of our starting town which you can sort of make out and then the names of all the locations in the town, which are all in Japanese, so they provide no helpful information at all. 
how to use a Game Boy Advance, which, you know, I would not actually know, having not played billions of these. Teddy bear outfits. We've got Santa, a uh, cheerleader, a Hawaiian bear, because they have so many, you know, brown bears in Hawaii. Oh, sorry. Uh, they have so many bubblegum pink bears in Hawaii. There's a baby bear, which is that one right there. You can't really see. And then there is what I can only assume is either a daddy bear or a grandpa bear or possibly creepy babysitter bear. Or this is Japanese, so it might be salaryman bear. Um, one appears to be a little picture of the starting house. Ah, instructions on how to do things and put your bear in cute, adorable little outfits. It's not helpful. Um, now this is an actual role-playing game, so I'm told there's combat involved. I'm interested in seeing, because right now all I'm seeing is, uh, adorable little outfits. Um... I don't know what's going on. Uh, there's a really large hammer in that picture there. I don't know if you can make it out. Maybe we have to forge bears from raw yogium ore. That'd be kind of interesting. I'll uh, clean up bucket. Uh, yeah, it looks like cleaning up is an important part of your duty. Haha, <laughs> duty. Oh, there might be multiple towns. Um... Oh, no, I think these are, uh, historical teddy bear factories in Japan. I wish I could actually... Well, let's see if I can, uh, get this to zoom in better. <laughs> so, let's see. Focus. Oh, oh, there. There we go. Now I can show a bit of this off. Cool. All right, so, Nasu, Izu, or Izu... All right, it would start from that side to that side, so... Nasu, Hakone, and Izu. Except I just realized that this ja this instruction book that actually reads Western. So let's see if I can show any of the pictures of the insanity in here. Because everything in here looks completely nuts. Uh, yeah, first of all, little girls. We've got, okay, we've got general, there we go. General normal looking girl. I guess, you know, that's probably who you play. Um, her friend or her little sister. Probably, like, little sister, I guess. And a grandmother who sews teddy bears, because, of course. Then we've got a girl who is a witch. That's perfectly normal, right? Probably a villain, I'm just gonna guess. And then, um, I guess she's a green beret. Because she's wearing a green beret. And this table. This table apparently is important enough that it warrants its own information in the character section. That's important to know. Yeah, here's the town. You can see that a little better now. Uh, that's the starting town, I guess. It might be the whole of the game. And there are locations, so you know what you're looking for. Or know where to go for what you're looking for. Um, that girl is talking there. It's apparently very important. She's probably reminding you to put in fresh batteries. Now, there are the, there are the teddy bears and outfits. Now, that's the one I said uh, looked like salaryman bear there. And cheerleader, and then pink Hawaiian bear. It's all perfectly normal, perfectly natural stuff. I'm not sure what this is. That picture, it's really tiny, but that picture appears to be a nun talking to them about their bears. Perhaps talking to them about how their bears don't actually have souls and therefore can't go to heaven with them. Because that's what nuns do. They like making children cry. Yeah, and here's the dress up your bear section. Once again, important. Um, that appears to be telling you how to do things with your inventory, but that doesn't matter. This appears to be a little girl tripping on acid in the middle of a field of, uh, you know, dandelions. Or something. And, uh... Yeah, there's the hammer. That's where, uh, you know, I, I still think you probably have to somehow forge teddy bears out of raw Yogi Amor. That's, that's a loom, I think, in the upper corner. Where, uh, you, maybe you have to weave bears. Okay, here's what I'm thinking from this page. 
you start out with figuring out how to get... Alright, you start out spinning them. Like, making the yarn. Then you weave them. Then you fold the cloth and forge it over and over again to make it stronger. Then you wash it. Then, apparently, you give it a desk job at a corporation. Oh, that's where teddy bears come from. And that's a little girl who apparently never learned how to carry a bucket. Or failing that is being attacked by a bucket full of the slime from Ghostbusters 2. It's entirely possible. Don't knock it. Um, I don't think there's much of anything else interesting in here. Yeah, there's the Izu, Hakone, and Nasu. Um, and yeah. The back is a hundred years, teddy bears, blah, blah, blah. Once again, game. Never before played. It'll be fun to see how that turns out. Product reply card. Nothing really fancy or special. And tiny teddy bear. Let's see. Maybe people can make out what his feet say now. Yeah, it's just something or other. Japan. And a teddy bear that looks like its face has been slashed because the tea goes so long. It's cute. It's actually made of very nice material. And because it's Japan, it's kind of hard to see. But it has a loop on its head. That way you can attach it to your cell phone as a cell phone charm. Because that's what Japanese girls do with everything. Forever. But it's a cute little teddy bear. I like it. It will probably go somewhere around my computer because, well, look at him. He's just adorable. Anyway. Well, like you said, the one on the box looks way better than anything. I mean, look at that. That is a good teddy bear. That's a good teddy bear. And then there's this guy. I mean, they're, he's actually bigger than the one on the box, but, yeah, you know. Oh, and there are a few pictures of actual gameplay on the box, so... Um, I'm not sure what any of that is, but there's more... More teddy bear outfits. Uh, there's a pirate, a, a bride... A bow, so I guess that sexy surprise teddy bear. Um, that appears to... I guess an elf with a bell. What is that? Oh, that's a little kid with a lollipop, so I guess that's following a stranger home teddy bear. A princess, I guess, is the far one there. Then that's a guy in green with a riding crop. Oh, I guess that's the sexual predator bear. Um, that's... Well, that's not pedo bear, but, you know, wrong color. But That's um, a witch, and that's a hillbilly. So, this should be interesting. Hey, I hope you all enjoyed this little unboxing video as much as I was confused by... As much as I was confused by it, I have a few other weird games I'm looking forward to eventually trying out. But this just seemed like the weirdest. Though, I don't know what this is, but the box has frightened me. So, we'll figure this out at some point. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the videos you'll be seeing over the next few days. I know I'm going to be confused. But anyway, till next time, peace.